guys welcome to today's video i am back with another video in today's video i will be testing out all the products from insight cosmetics i got all of these products that are there in my tokri Toto tokri um from their original website original <laughs> from their own website they are available insight cosmetic is available on amazon on nika um, I think it is also available on uh, Mintra if I'm not wrong uh, but you can buy it from anywhere I mean it's your choice I wanted to do a full phase of testing out inside cosmetics products there is one product that was not available on their own website which is their liquid eyeshadow I don't know why it was not available on their official website but the good thing is that they have some really good offers on their own website so you never know always check out different uh, sources of buying one particular product maybe you can get it at a great discount or great deal my order was a prepaid one so i saved 50 or 60 rupees more and i think they give cash on delivery for 3.99 and above cart value so i think that's a good thing i'm just going to start prepping my skin so i'll use a serum and a moisturizer so that we do not complain that it is drying or all that I'm going to start with the very first product which is a primer. This is what it looks like. So it looks like the Clinique 72 hour hydration mist or serum. I don't remember the exact name of the product but it looks like that. And uh, it has tiny tiny sparkles inside it as I can see through the glass. Really good packaging and you are getting 10 uh, milliliter product more here. Generally you get 30 ml of product. Here you're getting 40 ml of product, so that's a good sign. It looks like a silicone primer. So, Aja. Oh, I think this is, oh, okay, okay, I got this. Oh, it is a silicone primer. Uh, they have mentioned on the product that this is free from paraben and uh, it is also free from fragrance. So that's a good thing feels smooth honestly it is filling my pores for sure no doubt there and it has smoothened my skin as well let's talk about their foundation so this is their inside stay matte liquid foundation this is oil free full coverage matte finish studio finish paraben free and it has 30 ml of product this is what it looks like i like the packaging of it it's a tube packaging so it's travel friendly they don't have that many shades to be very honest and relatively it's a new brand some of you guys commented on my swiss beauty video on my hindi channel that you know what arjuna swiss beauty is originated from china if you could just give us a an alternative that would be great and i thought okay i can do that i searched and this one is an indian brand and the price range of insight and swiss beauty cosmetics is uh, similar more or less in the shade golden amber and since it's a matte finish so i will take a little bit of it okay thank god it has a creamy consistency it's not a runny foundation because in tube form uh, buying a runny consistency foundation is quite risky especially when you're traveling so on one side i will apply it with the help of a blender this is just a tad bit warm for me the color for me but we can make it work You know what it doesn't have a very strong fragrance that is that is so not the case with the uh, really affordable base products generally products uh, especially foundations and concealers under three four hundred rupees have a very strong fragrance can you see the difference i don't i'm going to take my maybelline uh, fit me blush it's not fit me blush Arjuna, please I don't know it's Maybelline blush it's a foundation brush and it's for 499 rupees amazing brush I'll highly recommend it to anybody who's looking for a foundation brush under 500 rupees very good quality stuff so I'm gonna take a little bit more for my right hand uh, left hand side of the face just to see if it gives better coverage not giving me any coverage let's see maybe with hands it'll give better coverage yeah with hands it's 
giving just a tad bit this is for people who have really good skin and uh, they want like a bb cream that calls itself foundation honestly i don't see any coverage i don't think that can change even with multiple chances but i will update you guys if i change my opinion about any of these products so since it did not give me a lot of coverage i am going to apply my stick highlighter from the similar brand and it comes in three four shades so that's a good thing the shade that i got is golden glow and the name is written on the top they have also an applicator which i will not use uh, i mean i can this is how much product you will get yeah, this is the standard quantity that you get in stick highlighters so the similar quantity is there in my palladio highlighter so it's okay the packaging of this one is definitely it feels just a tad plasticky the pla packaging of their primer and foundation is awesome so what i will do is that i will apply it on my high points because i have not powdered my face so i can take advantage of that Whoa. Okay, it is fidgeting inside. It is reminding me of my pencil box from school days. Take the similar brush and I will just blend it out. Up close you can see just tiny micro glitter particles. Any highlighter is my recovery. All highlighters have particles in them but it is not glittery or chunky if it will budge or move obviously i'll, I'll give you check in what i'll do is i'll use their uh, concealer to prep my eyelid for eyeshadow because i'm starting with the eyeshadow first and i'll take their loose powder to set my eyelid oh this one is similar to blue heaven powder quite strong fragrance i am just going to prep my eyelid area I got two of their eyeshadow products. They didn't have a proper eyeshadow palette. So first one is their multi-use loose eyeshadow. This one has four grams of product, and it's in the shade cherry wood. The other one is their glitter eyeshadow, liquid eyeshadow. Blue Heaven has something similar, and now inside cosmetics, Swiss Beauty. You guys already know the shade three and five are my favorite. They look very very pretty. Uh, so I am going to start with this loose pigment. Just remove the wrapper a little bit, and I will take my pack three ten brush. I am going to use whatever is there on the wrapper. Please don't judge. That's that's the cheap thrill that I follow in my life. Pigmentation. I am not using any setting spray. It's not going to be a makeup tutorial because I want to use both of them. I want to test them out. So don't think this is a makeup tutorial. The color is so beautiful. It's a warm cherry color. Look how effortlessly it is working. I don't see any bunching up of product. Wow, it's not looking patchy even on the lid. And I'm not impressed with this concealer working as eyeshadow primer. Like it's breaking apart even after setting but look at this eyeshadow wow taking my elf eyeshadow palette and i'm taking these two colors just to use as a transition shade and since this is also under three four hundred rupees so i thought and i'm using my allure brush this is a large blender brush we'll be blending it here can i apply a golden eyeshadow just on the middle No, I can't. I just zoomed it. Okay, I'm going with this one just to see. Let me use a flat mask. It's looking a little patchy. This particular shade. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Maybe with some other eyeshadow, I'll try. With a matte one but it's not as powerful as the swiss beauty one or even there are one two shades from blue heaven one a similar one which is yellow that one is better than 
this inside one because i have seen this thing with blue heaven and swiss beauty that certain shades of their liquid eyeshadows are inconsistent like they are patchy um, but some of them are so beautiful let's use their eyeliner this is their super lasting supreme eyeliner this is what it looks like it has a brush tip applicator this is what the packaging looks like i'm gonna take a little bit of it and ta-da it's reminding me of lakme iconic eyeliner it's a good eyeliner like i have no complaints ruined my look by putting that golden in the center i had to experiment but it's okay it was not a makeup tutorial we are just testing out products so it's okay it's a little bit patchy you have to go on that area again but you can correct it okay let's test their concealer and then they lose powder really hope that this works because finding a concealer under 200 rupees the fragrance of this one is similar to their foundation which is not too strong i think their concealer has better coverage than their foundation it's just that it's a little light for me it will turn gray for sure we can test whether it creases or not so if you are my shade Uh, don't go for honey because honey is light for my under eye area the coverage is kind of medium coverage you can't really build up way too much uh, i think this is it's not drying that's the best part it's not a full coverage concealer you can't really build up way too much just a tad yes but not too much so whatever is left i'm applying on my cheeks or wherever the foundation couldn't give me coverage the concealer is turning a little gray now Oof. i hate that thing about a concealer because i thought honey will be my shade but it's okay at least you guys got to know that don't buy honey if you're my shade so i'm going to take the loose powder this one has a strong orange yellow undertone to it maybe it can help You know when you are going to have a bad makeup day you are going to have a bad makeup day Okay this powder is doing nothing wow I'm going to set rest of my face with this powder I think this concealer is going to be good for beginners especially people who have very smooth under eye area I do have one or two lines which is fine but then It's not looking nice under my eyes. Let's use their mascara. This is the one that I got. It has a spoolie and comb. I don't know why there is a comb. Like, is it for my brows or for my? Okay, honestly, it's a very natural looking mascara. Uh, nothing too much is happening, but uh, for everyday basis, it's a good mascara. You guys know my eyelashes are scanty. They don't have length, volume, nothing. Uh, this is giving me volume and a little bit of length as well <coughs> i will honestly prefer it for my no makeup makeup days if it lasts throughout the day and doesn't budge or smudge the lipsticks have a lot of shades i'm removing the plastic wrapper from it this is in the shade warm nude this is what it looks like it's like a earthy orangey color wow it's even different than what it looks like in the wallet it's not too orangey definitely has a warm undertone to it but it's not terracotta ish i have prepped my lips my lower lip is uh, drier than my upper lip lower lip is looking just a tad bit patchy like it's not the perfect finish it's definitely going to transfer looks very very comfortable feels very very comfortable that's the good part so this is the makeup look i will be testing it out for 8 hours i'll give you guys check in but uh, i personally feel that their primer is very good i don't see anything in their foundation the concealer is not working really well as an eye shadow base i know that concealer is not supposed to do that but i do that all the time with my other concealers and they work fine uh, i would say one thing that they are loose powder does not work for eyelid like setting your base eye shadow base or for your under eye it doesn't do too much for rest of the face i would say that their insight loose powder is lighter than blue heaven loose powder 
definitely i would say that this one feels lighter on face this is also not heavy but if we are comparing the highlighter in here is quite sheer i didn't build up way too much because it's too golden uh, for my liking but till now i can say that it is giving me glow i hope that it won't budge or smudge because the makeup is looking nice i have created two different looks don't mind that lakme iconic liner is better in terms of giving you that smooth line uh, this is not bad either but it does feel a tad bit patchy here and there and you can correct it smoothly that's the good part uh, the mascara is more of a minimalist kind of look mascara which people who have good lashes will enjoy it's not a fail for sure if it is going to last throughout the day this lipstick is a classic bullet lipstick like it is transferring and that is a very soft kiss that i gave to myself start with the very first product first product is primer i don't think it's working now because i can see my pores and primarily it is a pore filling primer and the makeup is also falling apart number 2 is a foundation as you guys already know it doesn't have much coverage so yeah that that's a bummer uh as far as the concealer is concerned it has a very sheer buildable coverage i think it will work best for people who are beginners but uh, for anybody who is wanting more coverage like full coverage no it's not for you the compact powder the loose powder is great for all over your face but under your eyes it didn't do it didn't do anything just like the way blue heaven powder does Uh, then we'll talk about uh, highlighter the highlighter is still on its place it has uh, kind of uh, moved a little bit like it's there a little bit more on my cheeks which i don't mind i just feel that if you have very big pores on your face it can exaggerate your texture after a while and i did not touch my face a lot today because i was very careful about it eye shadow has started creasing even this loose pigment has started creasing so i will try it with some other eye shadow primer or my maybelline concealer the lighter shade the liquid eye shadow is a tad bit long lasting than their loose pigment it has faded just from the inner corner but not too much you can't see much of it fading but this loose pigment is fading just from my crease line area so this is your crease line area this curve right here this is your crease line area and it has faded just a tad bit from there the eyeliner is still on its place it did not smudge or bleed anything like that it has faded just a tad bit from this eye uh, the mascara has completely transferred on my under eye area and it has faded Hmm that's a bummer. The lipstick uh, was going pretty well. It was very comfortable as soon as I ate something. So it is not uh, transfer proof. It is going to fade very easily. That's a thing with bullet lipstick and it doesn't claim to be like a powder matte finish. So obviously it will fade. You can always reapply. I mean it's not that expensive lipstick and even some really expensive lipsticks also last for like 2 or 1 hour uh, so that's not a bummer for me i don't mind reapplying lipsticks i completed my spanish homework and i had dinner and post me you can see that the lipstick is completely off that's why i'm giving you the, these heads up what was i doing okay <laughs> otherwise what's the point of saying all these things so the lipstick cannot survive meals for sure like you have to be very careful also the blush is looking patchy with this particular foundation and primer uh, primer i think it can last for an event for like 2 3 hours not more than that foundation no i didn't like it the concealer did not crease that's the best part about this concealer but it has faded completely completely Uh, from uh, from my under eye area the compact powder is just okay for like setting your face but not anywhere where you have line my thoughts on eye shadow are similar to what they were in the previous check in the eyeliner is now fading uh, it's kind of getting patchy but more or less i would say that together if i am doing a one brand tutorial a one brand check in these are not lasting really well and i think 
normal or dry skin can make it last just a little more in comparison with combination or oily skin type it is possible that somebody might like these products way too much but i don't think i got amazing finds from this experience uh, however i will continue using them if i change my thoughts i let you guys know that's what this community is for so that was the video guys and i think i need to sleep okay guys bye bye